Good day, Ishmael and Israel. Happy Sabbath. Out of Omar Hosea 7. Uh, we wanted to say, um, we had did a, did a video earlier, but I had to reboot my phone. I forgot that I had, I had changed, uh, I deleted everything that was in it. But anyway, um, we, you know, we want to talk about uh, this albino thing. And so really this is about spiritual, spiritual knowledge, spiritual awareness, spiritual consideration, and the fruits of obeying the Most High, loving the Most High, and having a relationship with the Most High. But think of this. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a short situation with me. Uh, when I was not being obedient and didn't care or have, have a real relationship with the Most High, I did a lot of things. And my body chemistry was poisoned. My energy was low. Uh, my, my knowledge was minimal. But even though I knew of the scriptures, I knew of the Quran, I knew of, you know, of these things, I just didn't have a relationship with it. So my seeds and everything about me was sick. So I had a child with another woman, with a woman who I didn't love. And I made a video called Born Without Love. Check it out. And so, this woman who didn't have a relationship with the Most High and these things uh, wasn't totally spiritual. Uh, but she did. She wasn't as heinous as I was. I was in the streets, drugging and drinking, and you know, just. So I didn't want to live. I didn't want to die. Um, that's just that. And so that was in me. And so when I had my when we had a child. This child took up the characteristics of me, and she's doing some things that is not really of me or of her mother, and so that spawned it. So it leads us back to this albinoism that the pale skin and everybody's trying to say that white is right and white is the ruler of the planet. This and this and that. Uh, for one, if you check the records, albinoism didn't come till after the flood. First and foremost. And that's cause of incest. And so people were thinking that Enoch and Lamech and all of them had incest and birth Noah while, while he was albino. That's not correct. Uh, Canaan had incest with Ham's mother, which was Noah's mother. That's how he got turned into an albino geno. But if you do the re research and the history and that posted these on Facebook and Google Plus, and other networks uh, where to find it in the book of Jasher, Jubilee and in your own personal experience uh, what it's like to actually be cursed because I have that experience and I have some family members that have that experience and thus through the raping of uh, my that happened in my family maybe me some your family is that I have an albino family member due to that hit from that incest thing so we we have the actual living proof of that how how that happened, and it's not so much a disease, but it's a, it's a curse from having incest, uh, and it's defective. So, uh, and so my daughter became defective until she changed her heart. Until she changed her heart, my child becomes defective until they choose to walk with the Most High and they become cured of that thing. Thus, I've been cured of of my diseases and things of that nature. Facts. So the thing about this albino is going back back to that. Um, use, your, use, your, use your logic, people. Don't take my word for it, but use your logic. It said that even when Cain killed Abel, he just, his skin didn't get cursed, but it was marked on his head. Meaning, it could have it could mean a, a many of things. But logically, if you're marked in your head, that means you don't have a sound mind. It means your mind has been marked. So that means everything that you put your hand forth to, it may work or look good, but it won't last long. And so you have to keep moving. And so that's why when the Most High Son came into the land of Nod, like people shoot dope, you tired and you nod, and, or it's my you nod, you know. You know, he's sent to a land of those things where you just nod. And so he would go to, go to work, create a city, and then he had to keep moving around. And so he had to wander until he later on built the city and then died. 
that was his that was his curse that he didn't find rest so we look at another curse which says in the book of jubilee no not jubilee the book of jasher um the story about lamech and his two wives now lamech his grandson tubal cain who's named after his father meaning tubal cain meaning the son of cain i believe i think that's what it is i can't remember but i'm sure <laughs> Tubal Cain and his grandfather Lamech went to go hunting and unfortunately Cain was out in the same area hunting and so because Lamech was old and his, Lamech couldn't see that well he killed Cain and thus the scripture says those who kill, whoever killed Cain cursed be him seven times seven now it didn't say curse his seed seven times seven it didn't say curse his kids or his woman or his household. It said curse the person seven times seven. So whatever Lamech had done, it would be a curse to him. Uh, if he was a good football player, that would be a curse to him because he wouldn't enjoy it. If he was a pimp and he had all the hoes in the world, uh, that would be a curse to him because he couldn't enjoy it. If he had all the money, it would be a curse. Anything he had, it would be a curse because he couldn't enjoy it. Now, it has nothing to do with albinism nothing so where do you find Cain who had remorse and went to the Most High and said I'm sorry and the Most High pushed him out and said no problem but you're still getting away from here where do you get albinism when Lamech liked the, uh, had a relationship with the Most High thus he had a child named Methuselah thus they had a, a child named Enoch thus Enoch and them had Noah they all loved the Most High. They all had a relationship with the Most High. So there's no way in my knowledge, earthly knowledge, heart knowledge, or spirit knowledge that any man or spirit or energy would want to harm who, those who are obedient to, with their, to their master or to their father or to their maker or to the creator. Even demons are not cursed by Satan when they're doing what they're supposed to. They may get portrayed, but they still are not being uh, made good, for the better, lack of better terms, for doing what they're told to do. So in the same thing, why would the Most High who created all things, who created them, and they practiced uh, what we now call the Torah, at then it was called the hearts of men. It was, the Torah was written on the hearts of men. And then when the, when, the, when the hearts of men became hard, it had to be written on the stone to represent how hard your heart, how hard your heart became. Think about it. If, when, the heart, when man's hearts were soft, the, the words of the Most High would, would live in their hearts. But when the hearts hardened like stone, then the Most High written, wrote it on stone. And then it became on papyrus, and now it's on books, and now it's on this computer stuff. So the heart's evolving, and so is the word. So when you look at that aspect, you say, why would they get it? How would, how would they get a disease? They could not live in the sun. They could not do anything. Because one, they had poor eyesight, and uh, the disease itself would not, would not be good to them. Now, all due respects to those who are albinos, because I have a family member too. They're not saying that they're not good people or bad people or this or that. We're just saying that it is a curse handed down from their parents from having incest and being disobedient to the Most High and being unnatural. Now, do we say that the albino is unnatural in itself? No, because they're still human. They just have a disease or a condition as a result of previous uh, parents and parents who had no heart for the most high or had a heart for lust. And this is what we produce. And so the same thing with me, I had the heart for the most high, I had the heart for those things. And so, but I didn't live what was in my heart. I only lived what was in my mind and what I want to do for myself. And so, and then I never had incest, I never had desire to have sex with my sisters or my mother or my grandmother or my aunts and vice versa. So that's not in my heart, that's not in my mind. 
And so we have that we don't have no problem, we don't have no worries about our my children or my children's children have no brownism. These are actual hardcore facts, people. Um Father forgive me for I didn't pray before this video, but you know we prayed on the first video and unfortunately I, I deleted it. But Father, humbly ask and say thank you for waking me up. We say thank you for and let's enjoy the Sabbath. We pray those that are watching this video that they may get something and learn something, research on their own self, Father. Father, we ask that you protect them and guide them as they go to and from their destinations and watch over their families that they may hear your word. And may you be glorified and magnified in the name of Emmanuel and all the prophets before me and after me. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, I come and say, Selah. Um, if this makes sense, share it. But if it don't make sense, I'll shh and walk away slowly. Peace.